Okay, so let's see here if we can derive the formula of a sphere. I'm going to do this in Google SketchUp. I'm going to start by just creating the sphere. Um, I'm going to create one circle, and then I need to create this other circle. Let's use this one. Okay, so now I have these two overlapping circles. Sorry, let's get out of X-ray view. All right, so now I've got these two overlapping circles. Let's see what happens. Oh, there's a sphere. Okay, cool. All right, so I'm thinking I want to find the volume of the sphere, but the problem is, is that I don't know where the formula comes from. I already know that the, the surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared, and we found that from peeling those oranges, which is really, really cool. But now I want to try and figure out the volume. So here we go. So if I triple click on this sphere, I notice that I have all these quadrilaterals here that, that make up the surface area. You know, Google, had, Google SketchUp has this issue about curvature, so I need to kind of take it for what it is. Uh, it's a sphere. It's just, you know, a little blocky. Um, but this one here, I've got this this quadrilateral here and, and there's all of them. I mean as we look around it there's all these different ones and, and I'm going to use this to kind of come up with the, the volume of the sphere. So let's, let's get those back and what I want to do is I want to trace one out. Let's trace out this one here and I notice that I'm tracing it out because the lines are turning from a dash to a solid line. Okay so now let's, let's deselect that and there you go I've got that quadrilateral there. Kind of cool. Okay so uh, Let's do something else. Let's uh, go into X-ray view, and now I can see the center. And what I want to do is I want to create a pyramid by connecting each of those pieces. Okay, and okay. So there's a pyramid. Let's think about this. So this pyramid here has got a height, and let's see that height goes from the center here of the sphere all the way to the edge of the sphere. So let's see, that would be a radius. And the height of the pyramid is the radius. And the base, so one-third times the base of the pyramid times the radius would get me the volume of that pyramid. But uh, the volume of the sphere isn't just that one pyramid. It's actually a lot more of them. It's all of these. So if we combine the surface area for all these bases of this pyramids, so one-third times the surface area of a sphere, and then multiply it, by the radius, we'll end up with the volume of a sphere. How cool is that?